<clears throat> Hi, my name is Lonnie Palama, and today I'm going to uh, elaborate, if you will, a little bit about some special right triangles. Those two right triangles would include, the first one is the 45-45-90 degree right triangle, and the second special right triangle, of which both of these are, is the 30-60-90 degree triangle. I'm first going to start off with the 45-45-90. Um, let's kind of toss out a few facts here. Uh, what becomes ex especially helpful in solving geometric problems is understanding relationships between triangles. And so this first one, of which it is the 45-45-90, we're going to try and solve and identify any special relationships between the sides and also the hypotenuse. Um, I'm going to start off here to my left. Of course, there's a, rep excuse me, a representation of a square. That square I'm going to specify the size by symbol of x. And I'm going to specify the diagonal which splits that square into two equal triangles by the symbol of d. Okay? Now I'm going to do an algebraic proof to help us understand and determine if in fact there are any special relationships between the leg of a 45-45-90 and the hypotenuse. But let's first of all, let's talk about the Pythagorean theory. Pythagorean theory states this, and in letters that represent both the two legs of the hypotenuse, uh, A, B, and C respectively, let's state the Pythagorean theory, which states that the squares of one of the side plus the square of the other side, A and B being two sides, is equal to the square of the hypotenuse, or C. Now let's go ahead and run through the algebraic proof. However, substituting X in terms of the sides, A and B, and D in terms of the hypotenuse, C. So having said that, let's go ahead and proceed forward. So let's restate this, and this states that X squared plus X squared is in fact equal to d squared, my hypotenuse. Okay, let's see what we can do in terms of combining terms. So hence we get 2x squared equals uh, d squared. Let's try and eliminate the exponents by taking the square root of both sides, which in fact, if we were to take the square root of 2x squared equals the square root of d squared, we will in fact derive 2, let's extend this, of d equaling x times the square root of 2, right here. What does this say for us? What does it, um, what information does it provide for us? Here's the information that it provides. It states that x being the leg times the square root of 2 will in fact help me to calculate or compute the length of d, or the hypotenuse in this case. Let me state that one more time. Let's move up here. The relationship in terms of a 45-45-90 is this, is that the hypotenuse is equal to the square root of 2 times one of its legs, in this case it would be x. That is the theorem surrounding the 45-45-90 and the special case in terms of the relationship between the hypotenuse and its leg in theorem 7.6. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and move forward. Let's try and let's do a particular problem. Let's measure the value of one of these legs of this 45, 45, 90. Um, let's identify the legs as x meters. Both legs are x meters. Of course, they're the same size. We will specify the hypotenuse as being 6 meters. Um, there's a couple things that we can do. But of course, what we're going to do is we're going to utilize the special relationship between the legs and also the hypotenuse, which states that the hypotenuse, in this case 6, is equal to the square root of 2 times x, the leg. And so let's go ahead and let's put this in a, a quantitative uh, value. So the hypotenuse of 6 is equal to this uh, x, the side, times the square root of 2. Well, let's isolate the x so we can eventually solve for that and identify what is the value of each one of those legs in terms of meters here. So let's divide by the uh, square root of 2 on both sides. Uh, we will, in fact, get, uh, I'm going to rearrange this so that the 
variables on the left hand side and the quantitative values that we're dealing with are on the, uh, the x is on the left and other quantitative values on the right hand side. So hence I have x equals 6 over the square root of 2. Well, it's, this still isn't in simplest form. What must we do? Let's multiply. We want to get rid of that radi radical there, radical 2, by multiplying by radical 2. Um, uh, essentially, we're multiplying by the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. And note that this value is only equal to 1. So quantitatively, does it do anything to the value of that statement there? Absolutely not. Let's find out what the value is. So hence, x equals, um, we get 2 in the denominator and 6 square root of 2. The uh, 2 can be reduced down. So hence, we have x equals 3 times the square root of 2, which in fact equals the value, and that's in meters of x, and we have solved for that particular little leg. x is equal to 3 times the square root of 2. That's what we're looking for. 